Nvidia just released a huge update, Ryzen 6000 may be closer than we thought, and a new GPU was just launched. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brobot. Brobot is a free, super fast program that scours the internet searching for restocks of the latest GPUs, CPUs, and consoles to help you find what you're looking for before it goes out of stock. Thanks to Brobot, I was finally able to purchase a PS5 due to its extremely fast speed and in my case, I noticed it was actually minutes faster than all other popular bots I've tried. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you secure that new GPU, CPU, or console, be sure to click the Discord and Telegram links in the description below to find out more. So with the launch of the RTX 30 series, there came along with it, as usual, a whole bunch of new interesting features that will allow these GPUs to be used for more than just gaming. In fact, a lot of these features allow these new GPUs to be used for a bunch of different content creation use cases. And now, finally, one of these new features is making its way not only to the RTX 30 series and RTX 20 series, but according to a Tech Radar article, the new feature RTX Voice will be making its way all the way back to the GeForce GTX 600 series. So yeah, if you have a GeForce GPU uh, that is a 600 series GPU or newer, so you could be looking at like a GeForce GTX 670 uh, all the way up to an RTX 3090, now you will be able to take advantage of the new feature RTX Voice, which is definitely really, really awesome for all you content creators out there because I know that personally a lot of people have told me that RTX Voice is really, really helpful for them and it works really, really well. And in fact, I have seen a lot of videos where it's been demonstrated and it is actually shockingly good and I was surprised by just how well it actually works. So it, essentially the way the RTX voice works, if you don't know, uh, if you have a GeForce GPU, like I mentioned, that's 600 series or newer, all you have to do is you enable RTX voice and what it does is it takes all of the background noises that are going on around you and it kind of uh, gets rid of them. And you know, a lot of these AI programs that have tried to do this in the past have a whole bunch of other noise that they end up adding and it ends up not really sounding very good or the overall quality just ends up sounding a whole lot worse. However, with RTX Voice, that doesn't really seem to be the case. In fact, one person that I'd want to highlight who does use this, or at least was using this for sure, is actually Paul over at Not an Apple Fan, and he's been using this for quite some time, and it works really, really well. In fact, when he enabled it, I couldn't even actually tell that he had enabled it. However, I could tell that there was a whole lot less background noise. So yeah, this is definitely a feature where if you do have the ability to use it and you are a content creator, I would highly suggest checking it out, as it does seem to work very, very well. Now, the only downside is if you don't have an RTX card uh, in the past, I believe believe Gamers Nexus did some testing where it did have a small performance hit uh, to games with GeForce GTX GPUs. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's changed since then. However, keep in mind that it is possible that you could see a small performance drop while playing games if you're using this feature at the exact same time. So if you're a streamer, just keep that in mind. Now, the second bit of news I want to talk about today is that apparently there was a whole bunch of new X570S motherboards posted over on the EEC. Now, this does come from a videocards.com article. Uh, that's where I originally got this information. And VideoCard seems to believe uh, that these X570S motherboards could be pointing towards a new refresh Ryzen 6000 series processors codenamed Warhol that would be the Zen 3 Plus architecture. Now these Ryzen 6000 series processors based on the Zen 3 Plus architecture really wouldn't be a huge upgrade over the current Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 series processors that we have available right now. In fact, they'd probably only be a small clock speed bump, so maybe you'd be see, uh, finally seeing those 5 gigahertz uh, Ryzen 6000 series parts. I know people have been talking about 5 gigahertz Ryzen for a really, really long time, so maybe finally we'll end up actually seeing that. However, in terms of the overall performance, if these CPUs do end up coming out, which there is no confirmation at this point that they are coming out, but if they do, uh, you're probably going to be looking at a pretty modest performance increase. You might be seeing somewhere between like 5 and 10%. Uh, maybe they'll be able to squeeze a little bit of IPC out of them, but probably not a whole lot. However, you know, at the same time, while these new X570S motherboards could be pointing towards the Zen 3 Plus architecture CPUs, it could also just be a simple refresh for system integrators, as a lot of times they do want to have new motherboards every single year, even if there aren't really a whole lot of new features with them. So they could just be a simple refresh to compete with the new B550 motherboards as the B550 motherboards in a lot of cases do make the X570 motherboards kind of redundant. So maybe they're making just a few quality of life improvements to these X570S motherboards and they're going to re-release them onto the market to essentially replace the X570 motherboards. And maybe, you know, we won't actually be seeing any Ryzen 6000 series processors based on the Zen 3 Plus architecture. And maybe we'll be going right towards Zen 4, which honestly I would prefer that as, you know, all Alder Lake is coming up here pretty soon. I think they're trying to target, Intel's trying to target uh, end of the year here for the new architecture that they're going to be releasing. It looks like it is going to be a big performance jump, or at least those are the rumors. Uh, so if AMD tries to come out with just a simple refresh that isn't really a whole lot better than the current Ryzen 5000 series chips, that may actually not be good enough to retain their current gaming crown. And then finally, let's real quick talk about that new graphics card that was launched. So there was a new RX 
6800 XT that was launched. It's the RX 6800 XT Midnight Black Edition, and it does actually look really, really nice. In terms of the specs, you're going to be looking at the same that you see on the RX 6800 XT Normal Edition. However, you're just getting that new shroud that looks really, really nice. Uh, who knows? Maybe they did uh, change a few things with the shroud. Uh, maybe it would actually be a slightly better cooler. Maybe you'd get a little bit better cooling performance out of it. However, that's probably pretty unlikely. It's probably pretty much just a new paint job. And, you know, if you do want one of these, I got bad news for you because since we're in 2021 and the shortages are still going on yeah it instantly sold out the second it launched so yeah if you want one of these cards you can definitely go ahead and check on amd.com and various other retailers to see if they do end up getting them in stock because i do believe this is actually a really really nice looking graphs card and i would actually like one of these myself however i don't actually really need one so i won't be even uh, trying to get one but if you want one of them again you're gonna have a really hard time because i've noticed especially with amd gpus uh, they're just having a really hard time meeting demand and this thing just sold out instantly but hey that's just what I think. Do you think that Ryzen 6000 series Zen 3 processors are going to be coming out this year, or do you think that they're going to be moving on right to Zen 4? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.